All right, the first uh, section is managing multiple documents. And our first lecture and tutorial is about modifying existing templates. So we'll take a look at what these templates are, where they're stored, uh, the properties, functions. One purpose of a template is to give related documents a common look and feel. Okay, so you want to create certain documents and you, you like to reuse them over and over again. So instead of opening up a document like the one that you see on your screen, and then start working with your uh, editing features for your document. What you can do is you can create a template or templates. So templates provide uh, style definitions. For example, you can create cover pages, custom headers and footers, themes, macros, and the components of a template really help you create a document to specification without needing to design the document from scratch. So how do you access these templates and where they're stored? Templates are stored by default in the custom office templates folder, which is a subfolder in your documents folder. So it's much easier to get to your templates um, in Word 2013 um, as opposed to digging deep down into your folder and subfolder level structure in earlier versions of Word. So let's uh, first take a look at where uh, these templates are stored. In order to get to your templates, you need to go to File Explorer. Uh, here's a quick tip in Windows 8 uh, is what I'm using called File Explorer but in earlier uh, versions of Windows like Windows Vista or Windows 7 it's called Windows Explorer okay so don't get confused just for clarification purposes so I opened up my Windows Explorer and I'm going to use this term interchangeably okay and the easiest way to get to your templates folder is by either typing the location in this address bar or simply you can uh, click on the address that is by default and you will see the templates folder okay and notice how automatically it's populated what if you don't know this address okay what if you don't know and you want to navigate to your templates folder okay so to navigate it's in your c drive or it's in my c drive i expand that and i click on users and here's my profile because all templates are stored within my profile that i use to log in okay so once I get to my profile uh, folder I have to locate a folder called app data that's where my profiles are notice that this particular folder is a little blurred right it's a little more transparent as compared to the other folders and the reason being that this is a hidden folder so it's important to note that if you don't see this folder uh, within your own profile on your computer it's because it's hidden and you you will not see it the only way uh, you can see this folder is to unhide all the folders and it's real simple all you have to do is you have to go to your menu bar click on view and in your show hide ribbon area here you'll see the hidden items checkbox okay so all you have to do is you have to uh, make sure it's checked and that's how you will see this app data folder okay so once you look at that app data folder let me expand that Click on my roaming profile. If I expand this, I'll look for a folder called Microsoft. Here's Microsoft. And I expand the Microsoft folder and I'm looking for my templates folder. Okay. So notice how it goes from your C drive to users folder to my profile name folder, app data, roaming, Microsoft, and templates. Okay. So a couple of ways you can get to your templates. So let's see how uh, templates work and how uh, we can customize them and modify them. So here's the list of all the templates that um, Word has for you. Notice the normal dot M default template. This is your default template. So every time you open up uh, Word 2013, uh, this template is loaded by default. So for instance, let's take a look at uh, either the booklet dot X template file extension name is dot X. Here's another important tip for you notice the difference between the file extension names so there are two kinds of file extension names one template is ends with the dot X file extension and the other template ends with the dot M file extension okay the difference is really simple the dot M is a macro enabled template and the dot X is just a simple word template that does not have any macros okay and macros are just series of automated steps basically okay 
So let me open up uh, quickly and show you how uh, templates work, how to save them, modify them. Okay. So I'm going to open up this booklet template. This is a pre-built, pre-designed template of a particular brochure that already comes with Word and I can customize it to my own need. So if I'm in an environment where I design brochures and I want to create, instead of creating all the columns and images and placements of all the, of the text as well as the images, I can create my own templates where every time I open up this template, I will see my own brochure design. So for example, let's uh, change the title of uh, the name of the brochure. So I'm going to call it Clit S brochure here. Okay. And you can obviously certainly change the font, the style. So if I don't like this font, um, I can change it. Let's say I want to use Times New Roman. That's the font that I like to use. Uh, now notice how on the top here it says uh, Word Document 2. So it's it's a document even though we opened a template but this is a document so all we have to do is we have to click file save as okay and I want to be able to save it on my desktop okay and here's uh, here's the trick so give this a name and the save as type is what you're looking for okay notice you can save this document as a word template with a dot X extension and again, um, this is used when your uh, template does not have any macros. Or you can save it as a document, as a plain document if you wish. Or you can create, save it as a Word macro enabled template. So since we don't, we don't really have macros, so I'm just going to Word template.x and I'm going to save it on, on the desktop. I gave it a name already. And I'm going to click save. So now notice the name changes on the top. Now I'm in my template. Okay. So let me close this, uh, close a word for now. Let me reopen my template. Here's my template that I saved on my desktop. So now if I open this template, notice how it automatically brings the name that I've say, saved with the font. Type is already Times New Roman. Okay. Here you can see it's Times New Roman. So the whole point is. Uh, that I saved, I opened the template, I edited it, and I saved it again as a template name, the way I want it to be. So same thing, and notice once I open this template, on the top here, it's again a document, okay? So I can save this as a document and send it to whoever I want to, okay? So it's really that simple in creating templates. So sky's the limit, it depends on your requirements, your needs, you can create templates as per your own specific requirement. Here's a quiz.